G'day, so this is the HLVX800. So this comes from China. These can be found on AliExpress. I didn't want to pay the price that these are advertised for on AliExpress, so I asked around my contacts in China and managed to pick up this engine that was partially built and it came in a box of bits. So it was just the engine by itself. So I've used photos from AliExpress to um, help me find all the bits and pieces that I needed to build up a base uh, that looked similar to what you would get if I bought the whole complete unit. So I bought the gauges, switches, the base, radiator, fuel tank, and all the other little bits and pieces from AliExpress. So the engine itself, so the bottom end was assembled, but I just had to finish machining the uh, this piece at the top here, uh, the intake manifold, make sure that was all flat so that that's sealed properly. Um, what else, the little distributor, I machined up a little groove in that so that the little grub screw could had something to locate in and it wouldn't, um, wouldn't keep popping out and I was able to, I'm able to adjust it. I machined up a little hub to fit a fan and I've also got electric fan if I want to use that. But so far this, uh, this fan seems to be working all right. I added this little, little um, tank in, little overflow tank or expansion tank. That seems to work all right. In the base, I've got an extra water tank. It's about 100 mil, just to help with the cooling. This pump, I found, didn't um, work too well, so I pulled it apart, tried to machine. The tolerance is a bit tighter, but um, it still wouldn't um, pump properly. I, I wasn't getting this water circulation that I wanted so I installed an electric pump so the carburetors so at the moment it's got a Walbro carburetor on it which I've stolen off my Conley it seems to work okay these little carbies this engine come with two of these I couldn't get it running properly with this carby I will I will keep trying with this because I've changed and altered a few things so every time i alter something it seems to run a little bit better so i'll try and um i will try again with this carby but at the moment it's got this wall bro on it um these don't like sucking up fuel especially from down here so on my Connolly, it's got a um a little fuel pump which pumps fuel up to the carby and you know it's got a little return line for the um, extra fuel that it doesn't need so I've utilized this water pump as the fuel pump so it's now hooked up to the tank so now I get a constant flow of fuel up to the up to the carby seems to work all right so it's got two oil pumps it's got one pickup here the filter's not connected it's got one pickup here, it's got the pump just in inside there. And the second pump is in behind here with the pickup here. So this second pump that pumps up top through through here and feeds the camshaft. And this one, this pump in the middle there, that um, pumps in through and feeds the crankshaft. So I don't know, one fault I found with this engine, I'm calling it a fault, or a design fault anyway. So the oil gets pumped up to the camshaft and then it makes its way up into the heads. So there's a little hole here for the oil to come up and there's another hole for the oil to return to the sump. But they're both up the top here, so any oil that goes up in these heads pulls in here. So there's a, 
a big volume of oil sits in the top of this head, which means all your valves are basically running in oil. So it's, um, yeah, it's definitely a design fault. Even um, trying to restrict the oil flow that's coming up to this camshaft, as soon as the oil comes up here, it's got no way of getting back out. If I pull that cap off right now, there'd be a pile of oil um, hit the deck. So, deck. So, definitely a design flaw there. I'm not sure what to do about that at the moment, but you know, at the moment it's running. Anyway, I'll start it up. Um, actually, just before I do. I'll show you in the base very quickly. So lift that up. So there's my extra water tank, the uh, water pump. This is a DC converter to go to um, power the water pump. It's my little CDI unit. There's a couple of relays down here and my battery. Um, usually I can to access my battery, I'll just put this back on properly. So usually to access the battery, I'll just pull off this four screws. So I'll put this back on so that it doesn't fly away on me. So the little starter motor there, it's got a five to one reduction gearbox. That's the second starter motor. I've managed to um, fry one starter motor. Um, what else? Oh, I've changed the the valve springs. It had very weak valve springs. I've made a little video on that, so I might uh, attach that as well. Okay, don't tell the missus. I've stolen her kitchen scales. So this is the original spring. This is the one that I'm gonna put in it. So I'm gonna sit this spring on here and just push it down. So there's about The spring that we're going to put in. Now, I'll try and push that down. About 2,000. So, just something to be um, something of interest is the heads themselves, they're very similar to the GN N100 four cylinder engine. So, I'm pretty sure these, this engine and the, the four-cylinder, I'm sure they are related somehow, but I'm not sure how. Anyway, I'll, I'll see if it'll start up. Um, as I said, I've got the internal water pump now, which um, it is quite noisy, but you don't actually hear it. You don't actually hear it over the sound of the engine. Anyway, I'll give it a run.
I should add a fuel. Anyway, that's it. Thank you.